dun, 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 dun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Escape with Sarah and Ben. This is the Wombat Logs episode 146. 146, man, like, wow. How long has it been since I've been to work? So welcome to Sunrise at uh, Port, Port Piri. Port Piri, not Point Perry. I keep calling it Point Piri. Port, uh, yeah, Port Piri. And uh, how mad's the sunrise here coming up over the Flinders Ranges? on the other side of the water there and like oh man it's a nice spot i really really love port perry and uh oh well, man we've got some exciting stuff happening but you won't find out for a few days yet and uh yeah so we're hanging around here anyway it's a long weekend here because uh there's like the adelaide cup on this week so um yeah let's see what goes on on the long weekend in port perry see you around we've learned a little bit about uh the area here to start with, this is like the port just here behind us. That big thing there is a smelter and uh, they used to smelt lead here. So there's lead everywhere. You can't eat the crabs. You can't like, crabs especially, you can't eat. But I wouldn't trust much of the seafood around here. Um, now they don't smelt lead. They smelt like electronics and, and like recycle things in there instead apparently, which still doesn't sound massively great it's kind of like mount isa where they have like lead problems there's air quality um things all around the town to measure the air quality and stuff like that and they test all the kids for lead poisoning and um yeah it's probably not the greatest place to grow up because of that so and then round this side is the grain silos so this is where all the grain from the area ends up and uh, then it all gets either trained out or shipped out from ya. So uh, yeah, if, you let, if your wheat bix has ever tasted a bit leady, now you know why. Right, so we had to do a bit of running around this morning and go back to KFC where we had dinner last night. I'm not gonna say anything more than that because I'd rather that they paid me to sign a non-disclosure agreement at the moment. But yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, Disgusting. Everyone should be a vegetarian like me. <laughs> for now, let's go check out it's Port Perry Regional Tourism and Art Centre and it's the Information Centre. And I think there might be stuff to do with great white sharks in here. So it would be really cool. But yeah, check out the sign. Virtual shark cage diving life-size shark is mad. So the shark dive thing's like a VR experience. And, um, we're not massively keen on that. I could probably find like something online and uh, do it. <laughs> it's still pretty cool, but uh, just not for us. Check it out. This is the John Peary, and it says it's uh, the first ship that sailed for the South Australian colony. Wow, in uh, what, 1836? Yeah. Wow. Oh man, that would Absolutely. have been an impressive boat. Yeah. Oh man, the full size thing would have been so awesome to see. It probably burnt down or sunk somewhere. I right, see there, it says wrecked Bass Strait 1850. And our uh, model was built by DR Shaw. Well. Well. It's a great job, isn't it? Yeah. What a cool boat. So on this sign here talks about the industry in Port Pirie. So like, you can tell why um, you've got to watch out for the lead, the sulfuric acid, or silver. Yeah, they use a lot of uh, mercury when they mine gold and silver. But <laughs> oh, yeah, the very industrial place. And this one has the model of like the, or the picture of the, the big foundry thing next to like the Harper Bridge and the Opera House, eh? So, I don't know, I didn't realise it was that big. Like, it, it's huge, I know. Wow. wow. That was pretty cool, except the, the staff just like completely ignored us yeah, and spoke to all the old people. Old people so, uh, yeah. We're used to that though, aren't we? You can keep all your crappy merchandise in. <laughs> oh man, how sick is the Hilux Wombat? And it's huge, like the, the living space is about as big as what we've got. But it's a, a little Hilux, yeah. Wouldn't be as comfy, and trying to jam through that little gap in between the seats wouldn't be as fun. Otherwise, that's really cool. 
So we've come back down to the main street now and uh, we're gonna go and check out the museum here. So yeah, let's have a look. Cool old buildings around, eh? Hey, this one's got the National Trust sticker thing on it. And uh, the post office is really cool too. And then past that is the museum, which I think is the old train station. So yeah, let's have a look. On oh, across the road, all the buildings are really old too. This one's 1864. It's got like a big bull's head up in the middle of it there, behind Sarah's head now. It's a whole main street. Yeah. Yeah, how cool is that, eh? Oh, and there's a pig and a sheep on the other side. I didn't notice, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, the main street here is uh, really cool. You got all the shops on this side. This side behind us is all the port and uh, the railway tracks and all the, the water. So, uh, yeah, let's go see what's in the museum. Whoa, let's go find out if it's even open. Okay. Pretty cool looking building, eh? It's, I think there's a, a lot of gothic architecture, you'd call it. It's a bit weird that this one's like pink, but still gothic style. There's a couple of other buildings we'll have a look at on the way back that are really cool. They're like the Adams Family building. Ah, she's cash only, and I've only got seven bucks, but we need 12, so uh, we're we gonna go we fish the around in the van. In the van so, yeah. <laughs> sick new hat too, eh? I've been uh, getting touched by the sun, so I had to go and uh, upgrade my hat. And uh, yeah, got a sick Pretty one. Nice, eh? Right, so we're back. It says uh, there's the customs and the police station in here so this should be really cool and also, the railway look, adult station. six dollars child is three dollars and then a child not accompanied by an adult is three dollars as well what's the difference uh, I don't get it. yeah huh? that doesn't make much sense does it <laughs> weird let's go and see what's in there mm, wow it's uh, pretty cool in here they got some really really old stuff like stuff that's older than i've seen especially that typewriter right the typewriter mm. i've never seen anything like that one and, uh, Made in 1892. The instruments. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, I didn't know they made typewriters in 1892. <coughs> 1892. Wow. And that's a bit off the train. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to go up and get into like the tower bit. That's going to be mad. Ooh, I know where this bit come from. Walkers Limited. That's in uh, Maryborough. Wow. We've been there. We've seen the big gates from yeah. the from the foundry and everything there. So that's mad. There's heaps of stuff about the Indian Pacific. It like used to come into Port Perry apparently, but I don't know if it still does or if it just goes past or where it actually goes for sure. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at the size of these scales. We could weigh ourselves on well, that. They made it in 1910, but they used it right up until 1972. Yeah, wow. How crazy is that? Mad. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess if it works, they broke. <laughs> mm. This thing here, it's a butt mold for lead. That, so a ton of lead. That that that's a ton of lead fits in that. Wow. And uh, yeah, that's what they used to mold it in. How cool is that? Uh, so this is the old waiting room for the the Ooh, train station. I think she meant. I think the big one. <laughs> Let's see who's in here. How do you open? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a book. It's not as interesting as I thought. I don't, I don't really want to read the book. So here's an old aerial photo of Peary. And uh, I can recognize the park there with the big cross in it. And then like Woolies is down here and stuff. And uh, this street here, I think, will be Fifth Street. And uh, you'll find out why Fifth Street's a cool street soon. This room is all sporting memorabilia. We have been told it's very uh, sport oriented town. So. Yeah, there's like a, a everything to this here. This day, yeah. there's baseball, softball, mm. AFL, cricket. We've seen croquet, well, that is team table game. tennis, Curious. so many Super different cute. sports. <laughs> yeah, periods. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So all this bit's talking about how the Italians immigrated here in like the late 1800s and uh it says the first guy that come was the first fisherman this Vito Caputo and there's a fish and chip shop down the road that's like called Capito Brothers or something ah. so that's pretty interesting well that's interesting because it said he went back in 1905 but then later he encouraged other family members to come here so 
Yeah, wow. Well. And they got these sick like... Yeah, like the lead windows or doors or whatever they are from the old church and they got lights behind and that's really cool that. This bit here is all old machinery and stuff from the the smelters back in the day before it become a modern smelters, blacksmith and stuff. There's big bellows all set up. Oh, with the forge, wow. Yeah, that's really cool. There's an old forge there. Wow, oh, look at this wheelbarrow, man. That's ancient. Yeah, that's another forge there with the bellows underneath it. Big bellows there, man. Mm, and all the draft horse things. Wow. It's all pretty cool in here. It's funny, some of like, these old like tools remind me of, I remember some other historical museum we're in, and like all the old hospital equipment looked like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that uh, would have been Rockhampton. Yeah. Yeah, they had the hospital bit that was freaky that as. looks like not dissimilar to that. <laughs> Back here, they got their old wagon display. There's the old bread cart. Mm. There'll be like a Furfy's water cart in here, I bet. The wheels on that thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. Mm. Oh, that's heavy duty. It must have been for wow. moving like lead. Like a 20 seater or <laughs> yeah, yeah. moving lead. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, something heavy duty. We couldn't find the Furfy's water cart, but they would have had one. Oh, man, look at this block and tackle. Yeah. 10 tons. Imagine being the person who had to use this all day. Oh, yeah, she still goes too. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow. You can see it moving Nine, slowly. Yeah, yeah. So that's like one person could pick up 10 ton with that thing. It's nuts. Wow. Biggest one I've ever seen. Wow, that's unbelievable how good this still works. Watch this. Like one pull. And oh man, wow. That's incredible. Building here is the old cop shop. So uh, let's go see what was going on in there. Ugly wedding dress. Wow, so in here I can't find uh I can't find the phone book, but I'm sure they just would have used that book down there. <laughs> They've got some cameras and some old women's clothes and things in here too. Really that is uh, really pretty cool. Yeah, this stuff here would be really old, eh? That's someone's wedding dress. Seven, 1874. <laughs> wow. Wow. Not much taste back then. Look at the colour of it. It's so judgy, but... Like you. <laughs> it really reminds me of like the storybook place in uh, Maryborough, hey? Oh, where yeah. the Mary Poppins yeah. stuff is. <laughs> and then to top it off, there's all pigeons everywhere up on the roof going, brr, brr. It makes you feel yeah. like you're in uh, the Mary Poppins movie. It's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. So they didn't use a phone book, they used all these clubs instead back then. Because I guess uh, they didn't have a phone to <laughs> find a <the> phone book. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, general store stuff, boot maker stuff, watch maker, and the chemist. Wow, they got a lot of stuff in here, eh? It's pretty cool. Man, I love how some of this stuff still works so well, eh? Look at this, the grinding wheel. Like, it goes, man, like, wow. Wow. Oh, you can see where someone would have sat there and pedaled it while they were grinding there their knives or their tools or whatever they were sharpening. Yeah, wow, that's really cool. Uh, check out this old rail car. It says it's the Casey Jones, what's it say? Motorized quad, 1920. And uh, I'm guessing it's an engine then, but I really don't know. Is it a petrol engine or a steam engine or what? Like how do you, I, I have no idea. If that's a steam engine. It's tiny. I'm guessing it's a petrol engine then. And like, what is that? The carburetor there? Like, I, I, I can't work this thing out at all. Look at the belt on it too. Wow. What a beast. Man, this steam train like, oh wow, it looks so cool this one. Nineteen twenty eight, number nineteen fifty five. Wow. Oh man, it's still got all its bits, eh? We have seen a few steam trains, but not with all the handles and the bits and the brakes. They keep and... it like well oiled and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they, whoever's like put all this together mm -hmm. has done a mad job, and they've done a mad job looking after it. Yeah. 
normally all this stuff in these villages gets restored and then just gets left to go to crap but uh someone's been in here looking after all this stuff yeah. sad thing about that is that it will all go to crap eventually because the people who have the knowledge to keep this stuff working and whatever like they're all dying and dead now and and the younger people don't want to come into the historical societies and fix this stuff anymore. That's about so, because yeah, that I know that's a big problem at Gainda. Mm -hmm. At their one, they've got a lot of stuff that needs restoration after floods and things, and there's just nobody who can do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah, so it's a bit sad. Windscreen, eh? Oh. What's that? Temp, temp gauge up here. Gauge. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. So I don't know. Down here's the firebox. This is where you put the. The wood. Oh, yeah, that's a bit jammed up. Oh, they've welded it shut, that's why. For safety reasons. Yeah, no fun. <laughs> well, that one still works. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Mad. Oh. Rah. Hey, what a beast, eh? This place has been pretty cool. Mm. Uh, you got to come and have a look here. We're going to go now and uh, climb up into the tower. Yay! Let's go. Oh, wow, so we're up in the roof now. And uh, oh, about the Transit Australian Railway. Wow, these are really cool signs, eh? Wow. Wow. That's really cool. <laughs> Go by train to Central Australia for winter holidays, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for winter <laughs> holidays, yeah. Because if you go in the summer, everything's green and it's not worth seeing. So, <laughs> oh man, how cool is this? Look. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised they let you up here. This is awesome. And we haven't even climbed the whole thing yet. Still going. Let's get up there. Oh, she's still got a fair way to go up, eh? <laughs> she wasn't kidding. Uh, that lady, when she said it was like a ladder, it really is a ladder. Yeah. So if you got sore knees, don't come up here. Yeah, watch out, that bit folds. Okay. How was that? Oh yeah. Well, I was just saying, I'm always fine with the climbing up, it's the climbing down that bothers me a bit. Hmm. <laughs> that was a mad staircase. But yeah, and here we are. Yeah, what a cool view up over the port. In the top. And uh, there's the smelter out there. And then over here is the port across from the port there that's uh port perry beach so you can see like it's not like a wit sunday's beach or nothing <laughs> but uh, the actual water yeah. always looks really nice though doesn't it yeah and then you got the flinders ranges up in the background there and um yeah can there's you see any of the wind turbines some pigeons down there the wind turbines will be out this oh. way now nah, they're all out behind the smelter oh, there okay up towards uh, the other port. Oh, we can look right down the awesome main street. Hmm. Mad spot. So uh, that's about it for the for the museum here. And uh, we'll go back down. There's one building down the road I want to show you. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, she's a dead set climb down there, oh, right? That was sketchy even for me. Man, that was so good, I, I really loved it in there. So uh, we'll go down now and show you this really cool old gothic building. This is the other building I wanted to show you. How cool is this? Like I said, it's like the Adams family built it. It's too bad it's not open today because uh, it's long weekend for the Adelaide Cup. Uh, otherwise, we'd go and have a look, but maybe in another video. For now, uh, that's it for our little tour of Port Pirie today. And uh, we're going to be here for a little bit. So you will definitely get to see some more of it. And uh, yeah, take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow. Dun, 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 dun.